Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. We're going to be seeing my tank. But I have a bush in the wall, so I decided to make this tank. So, I'm going to tell you what's in this tank. So, we got some guppies and a colorful guppy, because why not? Uh, we got some koi cats. We can't really tell. They're the little catfish that eat little scraps. I totally recommend them. Uh, they should be in every tank. If they have to be. They're only like about four bucks. Yeah, these these are good. You can find them in every store, even pet store. But they're small. They're small, but they grow kind of like four inches. And I also have a coal loach, which I don't know where he is. I think he's in the ship. Let's check. Oh look, if you saw, if you saw in the corner. Oh yes, you see right there. He's wiggling around in the ship. So I'm gonna flip the ship back over. So, uh, some people are wondering how to make a tank, and today I'm gonna. Oh, sorry. Uh, and today I'm gonna show you how to do it. So first, you have to have the tank itself, obviously. Go buy one for like, like the least ten bucks. You could buy like a starter kit or something. And you need to get a filter. A filter is key to your success. Filter is key to your success. Neat quote. So then you have to have a net so you can get your fish out. And when it, of course, you need fish, a substrate if you want to. So you could have a bare bottom. Uh, something for the fish to hide in for like shy fish like coal and loaches and a plant because if your fish for some reason just breed uh they might eat their babies or eggs or something or they need somewhere to lay the eggs so they can lay them like like what here yeah so and you need like a stress coat a stress coat includes quick start because a uh, stress coat and quick start is very important for uh, bacterial and uh, water conditioning because uh, regular just tap water isn't safe for them it's bad for them it's toxic toxic so you need to put in some stress coat and quick start or like you can use any brand i don't have mine right now because i'm out so yeah um to start to start it you need uh, when you when you if you get substrate if you want you need to wash it off, wash it out thoroughly so your uh, tank doesn't get cloudy from dust because who knows where this was, who knows? And if you overfeed your fish and like, for example, I feed them flakes, little flakes, and they don't, uh, they don't finish all the flakes or pellets or anything, that's why I have, uh, well, uh, what is it? The uh, the it was, the food will start rotting and it'll, the water will also get cloudy from the food. It kind of I kind of accidentally overfed them and it got cloudy. So don't overfeed them. If you notice they're overfed, get like a crayfish. They're also good at cleaning, but I recommend koi catfish. The koi twins. They're doing stuff right now. And colon loaches are also good at um, cleaning. They're just a little shyer, so they might do less. So, yeah. Um, but this is the essentials to make your tank. Plant, uh, the plants, ship, or like something for them to hide in. It could be anything, a rock. But it has to have like something for them to hide in. Because... There are shy fish that are on the bay. Colon loaches are shy. Um, and some other fishes are shy. And it, it, especially new fish are shy. And the plant is also the plant is also good for shy fish. I don't really recommend real plants. This is a fake plant. I don't recommend real plants because uh, they, they're a lot of work. And if you're a beginner... Um, I don't really recommend them. So yeah, for beginners, I recommend guppies because they're easy to take care of and they're easy to breed. 
and I recommend Corey's for tank cleaning, but you still need to tank, clean your tank with like a scrub or something. So yes. Oh, and this is uh, uh some uh, I've had trouble making the, fil the filter. So because people when you get a, when beginners get a filter, they have no idea how to start it. And this is how. So your tank, so it has, so if you see there, there's a minimum water level. Mine's just above the minimum water level. You have to have the water level a bit, like, higher. So then, so then it, it, it works. And then, when, uh, you have to take off the lid and then pour in water until it starts doing it by itself. And make sure it's like straight, cause when I was doing it, it was kind of like tilted, so it didn't really work. So make sure it's like in a good position. So yes, I guess that's the end of my video. And bye, 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 bye.